Hello there, hola, and welcome to my YouTube channel here at Benidorm and beyond. I'm an English woman who's lived here in the town of Benidorm for over 20 years, and my aim is to give you a different take on all there is to see, do and enjoy in Benidorm and the surrounding areas, so here we go. Today I'm taking you for a stroll in the old town, along some streets that you might not have walked along before, ending up at the beautiful main church on the headland. Starting at Plaza de Constitución, which is just at the end of Tapas Alley, we are first heading up the cobbled steps of Costera del Barco. On the left we find the entrance to the Mayal Touristic Apartments. Offering modern studios and one-bedroom apartments with free Wi-Fi, there is a rooftop swimming pool and terrace giving you a bird's eye view of the picturesque old town during your stay. Continuing up we see the La Rana restaurant, meaning the frog, and this traditional Spanish establishment has been here since 1968. Here you can order a la carte or maybe try one of their special tasting or group menus which can be enjoyed on their attractive small terrace or indoors in their rustic dining room. Carrying on and minding my step for any stray gobbles, we reach Calle Santa Faz at the top junction and the gay bar Peoples on the corner which opens at 10pm nightly and has regular singers and drag acts. We now turn left and on the opposite corner we see El Papagayo Bar, or the Parrot, which I'm not sure if it's closed permanently or not, but let's just say that they haven't posted any Facebook updates now for seven years. Carrying on up the street we find a maze of residential apartments and dwellings with their wrought iron balconies and rooftop terraces. And like everything in the old town, you never know what may be tucked away in an unknown corner. For example, here on the left we now see the entrance doorway to the El Castel Holiday Apartments. Offering three studio apartments and an attic apartment in a totally renovated old house, there is also a fantastic roof terrace where you can enjoy the sights and sounds of Benidorm from up above. As we reach the corner and pan around, on the left hand side we can just see the entrance to the La Senoria restaurant which also looks out onto the square which it takes its name from on the adjacent street. As well as the Malpas bar which serves traditional tapas, pinchos and many Spanish dishes. Now in front of us we have the beautiful Iglesia de San Jaime y Santa Ana or the Santa Ana and San Jaime church which is the main Catholic church in Benidorm and a real focal point for the community. Just before I enter I notice the British owned Twisted Cocktail Bar and their drink deals and naturally their one euro pint of lager offer catches my eye so I know where I'll be heading straight after filming. Walking up the side steps to the church and through into the building itself I first get my bearings and then start to film around this breathtaking structure. Located in the upper part of the old town we are now at the top of the Can Valley Hill. The plan of the church is a Latin cross comprising a central nave with small chapels running along the sides. The church was built between 1740 and 1780 in the neoclassical style and this followed the discovery of the Virgen del Sufragio who is the patron saint of Benidorm and who our November fiestas are in celebration of. The legend of the Virgin tells that on March the 15th, 1740, the residents of Benidorm were surprised by the arrival on their beaches of a Yondro, which is a type of merchant sailing vessel who had sailed there without a crew. It was believed that perhaps the cause of the disappearance of the crew was the plague and this caused fear and panic. After arguing the matter with many heated discussions and consultations, the authorities decided to burn the ship in its entirety without removing anything. When the flames were finally extinguished, the children searched for nails and iron in the ash and found intact and resplendent an image of the Virgin Mary with the baby Jesus in her arms, which the ship had been carrying in its stern. Seen as somewhat of a miracle, in 1844 the statue was taken to the parish church and placed in the new chapel. In 1925 the Archbishop of Valencia gave it its current name and solemnly crowned the bust. 
Later that year, the parish priest, the city council and neighbours alike begged the Pope to declare the Virgin of Suffrage as the patroness saint of Benidorm and in 1926 the pontifical rescript was received. The yearly festival to celebrate the Virgin are the celebrations that us Brits all know as the November Fiestas and are held every year for five days from the second weekend in November until the following Wednesday. On the Thursday, an unofficial Fiesta Day is held, which is known as the British Fancy Dress Day, and I'm sure many of you have attended and joined in the fun over the years. Back to the church itself, it has a blue tiled dome roof, which is typical of the local area, and indeed a great deal of the Mediterranean, and makes a picture-perfect photo every time. The church's tower was erected between 1807 and 1812, and the whole church was renovated in 1912 and then restored in 1990. In 2012, the church acquired a great organ, which is located in the choir section. The church's decoration outside is simple, with a white facade embellished with ochre cornices and ledges. Inside, however, it is elaborately decorated with many tableaus and altarpieces to admire, and a high ceiling which is painted in parts. Amongst the gold, the chandeliers and the huge candlesticks, you will also find the Virgin del Selfagio Chapel, a place of great importance for local believers, as it is home to the small sculpture of the Virgin that I was telling you about that was found in a boat drifting in the sea. The church is always at the heart of celebrations in the town, namely during the Fiestas Mayores, Holy Week or Easter and the Patron Saint festivities. I have personally enjoyed many trips to this part of town during various celebrations and it's lovely to see the church so well used and decorated during these events with a really vibrant atmosphere as well as a spirit of devotion. Daily mass services are taken at 10am and 8pm in the summertime with times changing slightly at the weekends or on bank holidays. Confession is held 15 minutes before the service. Finally, I now head back out into the sunshine onto the Plaza del Castellar. The four-star RH Hotel Canfali is to our left and immediately in front of us is a fantastic viewpoint out to the Mediterranean Sea. On the floor we can see a scallop shell representing the different routes pilgrims travel all over the world but which is mainly associated with the Camino de Santiago. Heading off the square and also downhill along Carrer Mayor you can find a variety of souvenir and gift shops but I'm heading to the Twisted Cocktail as promised to enjoy an ice cold beer and maybe a bite to eat as well. I really hope that you have enjoyed this walk in the Old Town streets and church with me and if you have please give the video a thumbs up and like it and also consider checking out some of my other content giving reviews of cafes, bars, hotels and loads more stuff too. If you'd like notifications of future videos just hit that bell notification button and you'll be informed of any new videos as soon as I upload them. And of course, feel free to drop me a line in the comments section if there is something or somewhere that you would particularly like me to include in the future. And as always, I'll see what I can do. For those of you who have only just found my channel, Ben and Woman Beyond, where have you been all these months? I enjoy not only videoing the busy resort of Benidorm, but also the gorgeous local area, including the nearby villages and towns, which can mostly all be reached by local transport at very reasonable prices and make a great day out. If you'd like to support my channel and future vlogs by making a small donation, you can now buy me a coffee, or even two or three. Just click on the down arrow next to the vlog title which brings you to the description of this video. Then follow the link provided at the bottom, it's really that simple. Thank you so much. I'll see you out and about on Benidorm streets next time, and thanks so much for watching. Bye for now, adios amigos y hasta pronto.